Today we will be taking a look at the Creality Falcon 2 Pro. This is a great entry level laser cutter engraver type of setup for your home use for the do it yourselfer or the at home hobbyist. And for a little backstory, here at Flux Labs, we've been wanting to get a laser cutter engraver for some time now. However, all the projects that we work on, the laser cutting that we needed done, couldn't really justify the large price tag of buying a laser cutter. Fortunately, Creality reached out to us and asked, hey, would you like to review a laser cutter engraver? And we said, of course. So special thanks to Creality for sending in the Falcon 2 Pro. Now the first area we wanna talk about is of course the packaging, what all comes in the box. Creality absolutely nailed it with the box. Now it is a heavy unit, so you might wanna use two people while safely removing and unpacking the box. When opening the package, it's worth noting it is incredibly well organized. There is a lot of foam and each layer you pull back is a new surprise of items tucked away neatly. Now, as you are taking everything out of the package, you might feel a bit overwhelmed of the quantity of items, but trust me, it will all come together with ease. Overall, it is pretty intuitive to set up. There is a quick start guide that will walk you through all of the pieces and how they go together. On a side note, be careful with the cable management to ensure there is freedom of motion for your X and Y. Covers are not reversible. Be sure to identify the left from the right correctly and have fun installing the slats on the bed. <laughs> We ended up dropping one in every other slot. Keep track of the head height adjustment tool to make sure you're setting your laser height appropriately. We did experience a bit of frustration with needing multiple USB inputs. USB extenders are your friend or grab a small computer dedicated to running this machine, such as a GMK Tech Nutbox 5. It's a $140 computer on Amazon that we're looking to pick up to dedicate specifically to this laser cutter. Now here is the first hurdle we ran into. We didn't have any good ventilation. Now to keep this review moving along, we had to make our own out of a LAC table from Ikea, a 20 by 20 by four air filter from Home Depot, cut to fit carbon filter, a PSU, and a 16 inch radiator fan that we had laying around from a previous project. This does a pretty good job at keeping the stink under control. After poking around online, I did find Creality offers a smoke purifier and we are very interested on how effective this unit is. Before we jump into our first cuts, let's take a moment to talk about safety because there is a few things to mention when dealing with a laser cutter engraver. Make sure to wear the included laser safety goggles. Not only do they look cool, but your eyes will thank you. This is not an eclipse, but it will hurt you just as bad. Make sure to turn on that air pump for the laser and crank up the CFMs. It's also very important to note that some materials can be very hazardous to inhale the exhaust. Ventilation and or air purification is a must. Before running your first cuts, become familiar with the emergency shutoff button and the built-in safety features of the door sensor. I really like this feature. Basically, when you open the sliding door, it will shut down the laser. Even though this machine has built-in safety features, this is no substitute for wearing your PPE. Be safe. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for, the first cuts. Now from what we can tell, there is no software included or provided by Creality for this unit. We ended up downloading Lightburn and started a 30 day free trial. Lightburn has a slight learning curve. It's not like a slicer for a 3D printer by any means. We recommend watching some tutorials and get a feel for image importing, layering, and laser controls. We highly recommend doing a speed versus power grid to understand laser height, power, and speed comparisons. Loading in the pre-scripted laser file through your SD card is fairly straightforward. We then ran the file to cut out the Creality mascot. It's thrilling to watch the first laser burns and cuts. I got the same feeling I had back in 2014 when I watched my first layer extruded from my Maker Farm i3V. There's something about that feeling of watching a project go from imagination to a physical item right in front of you. So after getting our laser legs underneath us, we decided to move on to our special project. We wanted to cut out some keychains for a special yearly Nerf event we attend in Baltimore, Maryland. This is known as Maryland Mayhem, and it includes a huge humans vs. zombies game, a competitive foam flinging tournament, and a foam blaster convention. We wanted to hand out some cool swag to important people we met at this event. So, we designed a two-sided keychain with our Flux Labs logo on one side and the Maryland Mayhem 2024 logo on the other. To start this project, we needed to learn 
light burn a little bit more in depth. Like I mentioned earlier, there are plenty of helpful tutorials from Lightburn on YouTube. They were a big help. For the keychain project, we had to understand layering and how to add steps to the program. For consistent positioning, we decided to design a holder that would burn 20 keychains at a time. We layered the art and used our 3D printers to make a jig. We then set the laser height to the engraved cutting setting of one to three millimeters. Aligning the jig is difficult due to how the cutting bed is, uh, the slats move and twist about. So in the future, we will be designing a clamping system to align this better. As it wasn't our intention, we did laser some PLA. Uh, we quickly discovered that lasered PLA has a very strong smell even through our carbon filter. And here is where things got a little bit challenging. We did get some lens airs on the machine during use. This was due to smoke buildup. Locating the fault clear button on top of the print head took a quick Google search. Holding the button clears the air and allows the laser to continue. We had to turn the laser air pump all the way up during the engraving of the keychains to ensure that the laser air stopped. Flipping the keychains over proved challenging since the slats wobbled a bit, so keeping everything aligned was difficult. Because of this, we did end up having one tag that was etched twice, but no big deal but we were able to work through these hurdles and produce some really amazing special edition keychains for our event. I handed out keychains to some really cool people I met at the event, and I also handed out a couple tags to the two lucky zombies that tagged me out. Overall, this project helped make this year's event a little bit more special, and I wanna give a special thanks to Creality for sending in the Falcon 2 Pro. I also wanna thank the team here at Flux Labs for all their hard work. In particular, Rogue AI was a big help with putting this video together, so thank you. Now before we wrap up, I do wanna say the Creality Falcon 2 Pro has some incredible build quality. Great safety features, a massive cut bed, and for the price, if you're wanting to get into laser cutting or engraving, this is an amazing starting point. Uh, just be prepared that you will have to pay some licensing fee for the software. As always, I'm Dr. Flux. I wanna thank you for watching today's video. Be safe and happy laser cutting.